Let's see what Victoria can do to be victorious of volley players in the Tour 7 and 8 of Tennis Clash, a sports game published by Wider Life Studios. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel Gameplay365 and to turn on the bell if you like this video. Let me remind you that all the matches you see in this video were played before the update of 13th of January 2021. So you will see the old stats of Victoria, Leo and Diana in this video. But the gameplay was exactly the same than if we played those matches after the update. If the cards are at the same level, of course, for both players, it's the same game speed, same agility, same stamina consumption, same forehand, same backhand power, same volley and same smash power, etc. So, in the first match, I faced one of the best volley players in this game, Professor X. Back then, his name was N6MAA10816, which is the name of a famous replicant in the movie Blade Runner. Nowadays, he has changed back to uh, Professor X. So, Professor X was using the Diana. He was uh, faithful with uh, his Diana. Even when a lot of top volley players were using uh, Leo, in high doors. I was lucky to hit some winners on the line there. And on a previous point, I was lucky that uh, Professor X was hitting a drop volley into the alley. Too bad this was inaccurate. So, as you can see, Professor X likes to hit uh, very hard volleys towards the baseline and alternate and then with drop volleys, but mostly he will hit hard volleys. So it's not really, yeah, exactly like that. It's not really easy to uh, know when he will hit the drop volleys or hard volleys, but most of the time he will hit the hard one. So I stay rather behind the baseline most of the time. Yep, trying to pierce his uh, quick catch defense with a shot on the body and some down the line passing shots yeah that is exactly why I never step into the court with uh, my Victoria versus him always hits like that a cross court that was not very powerful but that was enough just needs to avoid the uh, quick catch zone of this Diana. I was lucky again that my opponent didn't hit that drop very accurately. And that was really lucky there as well. It was the first time I managed to avoid the defeat versus the Prof. X. But that was only the second time I used Victoria to meet him playing volleys beforehand. I met him when I was playing with Kaito, so I was powerless versus his uh, volley skills. Let's play the second match versus Core Jelly, who was uh, using a little having rather high stats. Yep, the body shot didn't work. Quick catch it, but fortunately I follow up and uh, correctly on the second shot I was not accurate enough and I compensated with uh, a decent cross court forehand this body shot was surprisingly uh, efficient even if it was not very powerful let's try another one another successful body shot and this one wow Surprising that the quick catch wasn't activated there. Yeah, so lucky again. He was uh, kind of losing focus, probably. You know, when you are low and face Victoria and you see that you are led by uh, three or four points, well, I don't think that it helps to stay focused in a match anymore. Let's play versus Crazy Ball, who was using the same build than Core Jelly, except that Core Jelly had the natural energy at level 13 and Crazy Ball didn't have it yet. At that time, he has upgraded its things. So I was playing with the Bullseye and the Cobra in this match. So of course, my backhand was very weak, but my forehand was uh, much more 
I would say powerful than if I was just using the hammer and the forge. Of course, it was risky if Crazy Ball hits all the time on my backhand and if my Victoria doesn't turn around fast enough. But otherwise, with this uh, forehand, it's rather easy to uh, activate critical to hit powerful enough body shots to pierce and even when it's not powerful enough to pierce the uh, quick catch defense well it can provoke an error and a false error from the volley player like this or on the previous point when he was hitting the net yep as you can see Crazy Ball had a hard time returning any volley versus this uh, Wuzai Cobra forehand but I rarely play you with uh, that build in tour 8 because it's um, not efficient versus uh, top volley players who serve very well you know and who can uh, serve either on the weak backhand or wrong foot Victoria by uh, serving on the uh, forehand side well let's play versus Ta Wang An a pretty good volley player and it was in the tour 7, so I was using the hammer and the forge here. Not the bullseye, nor the cobra. And I was uh, trying to hit mainly the two corners. Tawangan is playing a bit like uh, a lot of other top volley players. He likes to hit uh, hard volleys, very hard volleys, towards the baseline. And I insisted on hitting corners. Hard shots towards one of the two corners. If it's powerful enough and it doesn't trigger quick catch of the volley player, well, it has a good chance to be a winner. Passing shot. Some nice volleys. Yeah, he likes to hit those lob returns, even if uh, they are not very efficient versus Victoria. Most of the time, it only gives her more time to adjust <laughs> a big shot. And on the match point, his Leo couldn't return my forehand shot correctly, even if this is not very powerful. All right. In this match, I'm using the bullseye only, not the cobra. So I was keeping the forge. Was not trying to get one more forehand point with the cobra. So of course, having this low backhand stat, even if it's uh, a bit more powerful than if I was using cobra, is useless anyway. But I played that match just to test the difference between uh, a combo bullseye cobra and the bullseye alone to see if uh, one extra forehand point can really play a role yeah too bad critical shot but was inaccurate for sure i'm really not accurate like those top players using victoria and who hit very powerful shots with her very accurate too you know who I'm talking about. I'm talking about, of course, uh, Omer and Shoney Shoney. And in our club, GP365 and friends, we do have two players uh, who use Victoria very well. Hit very nice, accurate shots with her. So, those two players might not be uh, top players yet in terms of trophies, but uh, still... Their forehand shots with Victoria are something to watch. I'm talking about Hitman 101 and Don Corleone. All right. So, yep, same old thing. A forehand shot towards the corner. When quick catch doesn't activate for a volley player, well, you don't even need to hit it very powerfully. Just need to hit it accurate enough. You just need to avoid catching the net while uh, swiping too hard. 
Well, let's face it, Joe Kuba, who was playing, and he does like to play with this build. Very high stats, Diana. In this match, uh, he was not using a build having too low stamina. He had already tried some builds having very high volley stat, but with a rather low stamina, so he could not survive at the end of the match. In this one, that's different. Gap was very lucky there that he hit that match into the net. This body shot didn't work. I think that he could have uh, volleyed it, but uh, he may have that. It was going out, so ignore it. The corner forehand winner. Yeah, nice semi drop volley. Was enough. He alternates now and then with a hard volley. And he was anticipating <laughs> for my passing shot. Yeah, he knows that I uh, like to hit on that side, so he was anticipating there, but of course now and then I hit the other side. Just can't keep hitting on the same side all the time, right? Versus volley players. Uh, who can read a minimum the hitting pattern. Let's play now versus the Diana of Axoi. So those volley stats are not very high, given that this is Diana. But I think that since uh, that match, uh, Axoi has uh, upgraded his scouts a bit. So as you can see, most of the time, you will see that uh, Diana doesn't activate quick catch as often as Leo. That's what I have observed, so I don't know if uh, it's a real trend, but for what I have seen so far, but I have played much more matches versus Leo than versus Diana. For what I have seen, I can tell that uh, Leo is activating quick catch more often than Diana. Even very high volley stats and high agility, Diana don't activate quick catch as much. Yeah, so more, a lot of times they will volley back. But, uh, yeah, no outrageous uh, quick catch like with Leo. Yeah, this is one of the rare times you can see this Diana Activate it. And that's probably why a lot of volley players are using Leo now. And I use Leo too, even if I have a level 12 Diana. So, let's watch this match for fun. Tom Ford, the very good volley player, was using Kaito for fun with the zebra and wire. So this Kaito was <laughs> having a huge agility. You know, this very high agility of 101 that the publisher has decided to uh, reduce, but not by reducing the uh, agility of the characters. It's just a reduction of stats, but uh, the agility and the speed of the characters are exactly the same. Let me remind you of that. So, this Kaito was having a lot of stamina and that was compulsory to play with this Sibran wire string and a decent volley stat, of course, to play with Kaito using the volley style in high tours. And to have those stats, you need to have uh, all volley cards at level 13. Yeah, as you can see, even with that agility, and really good volley stat that was not easy for <laughs> this rabbit to activate quick catch so my body shots work it not too bad yeah he, he was trying i don't know what here funny serve that was test time for tom ford another body shot that worked it
and the long cache that activated, but that was not very helpful because my Victoria's forehand shot was uh, powerful enough to annoy him. Well, let me show you the three builds that I use for all these matches. So the stats are different now, but uh, the cards were exactly the same. I haven't upgraded them since. Well, I hope you enjoy watching my Victoria be victorious of volley players in the Tour 7 and 8 of Tennis Clash, a sports game published by Wildlife Studios. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel Gameplay365 and to turn on the bell to stay tuned for new videos of Tennis Clash. Thank you a lot for your support. And see you soon on Gameplay365. Bye-bye.